When I was just starting out my HVAC business, there were several decisions that I needed to make. One of them was my inventory of products. In this video, I want to tell you how I chose what I stocked, what brand of repair parts to use, and how I stored them in my van. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. You know, some people don't have the four to $5,000 that it takes to build out and stock your van with everything that you'll need in order to be able to make the repairs you need on the spot. A lot of guys end up diagnosing the problem and then going to the parts warehouse, getting the part, driving back to the job site, repairing the system, collecting the money, and then on to the next job. If you are starting up your own HVAC company, you may have to start out this way. Then as time goes on, you can build out your service van with shelves and repair parts so that you can have them at arm's reach instead of wasting a lot of time driving for parts one at a time. But let's assume that you've saved up to start your business and have the money to go get your service van going. How do you know which parts to stock? Capacitors, contactors, control boards, thermostats, copper and PVC fittings, fuses, gas valves, hot surface igniters, pressure switches, screws, brazing alloy, pigtails, whips, disconnects, tape, terminals, valve caps, relays, motors, and everything else that you commonly used at your previous job would be the same things that you ultimately want to get for your van. When I started my company and hiring people, I made a list of everything that I commonly used in my time as an HVAC tech and installer. So I'd have the parts ready and make the repair efficiently. If I go driving all over town trying to find my parts one at a time, I make myself very inefficient. Inefficiency means I can only run so many calls a day, which means less money for the company. Universal parts are a great way to go. Figure out which brand of Universal Motors that you'd like to have with you. Do you like the US Motor brands or the Mars brand of replacement motors? Stocking these will be a great replacement option for you so that you don't have to carry 50 different OEM motors on your van. I carry 1075 and 850 RPM condenser fan motors of different horsepowers and the same goes with blower motors. I know that I need a couple of 120 and 240 motors for furnaces and air handlers. I use the Mars brand of these motors because they're a great price, they aren't quite as big as some of the others, and they're very dependable. Some of the other parts that I'm picky about carrying on my truck are capacitors. The last thing that I want to do is replace a capacitor on a motor and have it go out on me next summer. There are some really cheaply made capacitors out there. If you want to build a good name for your company, use quality parts. It's not something your customer should even notice, really. They just expect it, as they should. But if you have to come out every two years to charge them another $200 for a capacitor, that's gonna wear down on your customers and they might start going somewhere else with their business. Once again, I use the Mars brand for capacitors. Even at my parts distributor, their shelves are stocked with quality Mars 370-440 capacitors and right next to those, they have some flimsy jarred capacitors right next to them for a little bit lower price. Honestly, some of the capacitors being sold at warehouses around town are crap. It's odd to me that they even keep selling those parts. Sure, nobody makes capacitors like GE used to back in the day, but the quality of some of those cheaper caps are lousy. Some of you like to use the turbo caps so that you don't have to carry so many on your van, which saves precious space so that you can stock other things. Which brand of capacitors do you use at your company? Let me know in the comments section down below. Ultimately, as far as parts go, just put something in that you believe in and that you will stand behind. You won't get a warranty from the parts store for them, but giving your customers a warranty on their part, which makes the customer feel good about their purchase, will force you to find better parts to install for them. When it comes to shelving for your service van or pickup truck, and I've had both, you're going to most likely build it out much like you had it when you worked for another company. You're going to have to find adjustable shelves, organizers with pull-out drawers, refrigerant container racks, hooks and straps, and even a ladder rack. 
Maybe you'll want a partition between the front seat area and the back of your van to deter break-ins. A nice floor mat will make it even nicer for your knees as the years go by. In a pickup truck that I was using for a while, I got creative and built two boxes out of plywood with three shelves in it uh, so that I could store hand tools, power tools, small repair parts, control boards, pressure switches, and other things. I also put one of those knack boxes in the bed of my pickup truck so that I could store and lock larger items like my vacuum pump, recovery machine, tanks, and motors. When you use a pickup truck, you have to get creative with your space. Even using things like crates helps you stack tools and other items in your truck. Okay, well, I hope that this helps you in your quest to start your own HVAC business. There are so many things to consider when going out on your own, and inventory is just one of them. Let me know your experiences in the comments down below. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.